what's going on YouTube Carson Cruz today we're gonna be star stocking it here and uh, I'm gonna show you how you if you haven't signed up for star stock yet all you got to do is go to starstock.com sign up for a new fail and type in the promo code Carson Cruz all lowercase here and when you deposit your make your first deposit of ten dollars or more you will get ten free dollars so if you put in 10 you'll get 20 and i'll get 10 dollars as well it's a pretty cool deal they have going on and you can also use that too um to give to your friends to put on your youtube page or your twitter or your facebook whatever doesn't matter and uh yeah basically get uh free money for it so yeah every once in a while i've had a couple people shout out to brad i know he said he, he did it brad sparks on this channel uh one of the subscribers uh my buddy so yeah um we're on star stock man and then dude i'm enjoying it so i put like basically like uh 40 45 bucks i got the 10 free dollars um because i used uh i don't remember whose code i used either i think it was a high upside show um, i used his code and basically got 10 free bucks i got 55 dollars in here so i got 38 dollars right now and a collection full of uh, just basically you kind of see what I've got um, I, I really like the prospecting game and uh, I like buying cards the cheap cheap cards and uh, might might have really took it too much of a jump here on Grayson Allen thinking he would you know fill in for John Morant not fill his shoes but just fill in and he really didn't and so yeah uh, just kind of see some of the cards that I have in my collection right now a bunch of junk <laughs> mostly um a lot of star stock bees but one thing i'm going to show you too uh, that i really like about this site is um you go over here to activity and basically you can see but you know what all i've done so far so um i took a loss on this grant williams it's an accident i was trying to put freaking uh sales price of 4.95 or 5.95 at 2.95 and yeah it's all right away. um but yeah pretty much Profiting on everything, made good three, two, three bucks on each of these Bruno Fernandos, made dollar twenty-five there. I bought both Clint Capellas right when they came on the uh, site, and you know, four or five days later, sold them for a nice little double up on that one, and ten dollars made a four dollar profit on that one. So yeah, just kind of see here, I made a loss on Joe Harris, uh, did good on Grayson Allen there. Um, did well on Keldon. These bees, man, I had this one. And, uh, yeah, he, he went off yesterday. Nice star stock C still there for Markel Fultz. Um, Robert Williams, I hit him. Kevin Huter. Uh, yeah, so I've been doing pretty good on there. Uh, nothing nothing crazy yet. I haven't went crazy yet. Um, the kids are home right now, so it can't be, you know, I, I got to spend time with them too. Can't be doing this all the time. Uh, so, yeah, let's go over here. And I want to show you a couple guys that, um, well, that I bought. And we're going to start with Julius Randle. So Julius Randle, the, my strategy is like, you know, guys that with the stat it up, the Knicks are looking good. Guys that stat it up, um, you know, he was cheap. He was super cheap, and I remember it. So I remember the other day, and I want to go over here. Let's see here. Got my dashboard. I'm over here on CLMC. CLMC, you know, the prism, they say like the, you know, the prism leads the way, and, you know, the colors will lag behind so you can sometimes pick those up for cheaper and they'll actually sell for more once you get them graded blah 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 uh, so anyway so i remember seeing this julius randall a couple months ago and i saw he you know had a great first game or two and he was averaging like you know 20 and 9 and 6 or 4 whatever it was so yeah basically i went over here I remember seeing his court side was six dollars so i went and bought his court side i got his court side there you can see kind of the stuff i'm buying i got 48 number to 99 he's been scoring like crazy i got some serial number terrence rosses so um if you don't know basically they'll take select um they take bowman and tops from before 2012 um they take prism um donris optic and mosaic so um, you can see kind of some of the stuff I was thinking. And anytime you see something really weird, in, oh, look at these Danilo Gallinari's, dude. I mean, like, it, he's going to have a 30, 40 point game this year. And uh, yeah, those will be like 5 or $6 sales easy. But I got the silver of Julius Randle 
for six bucks. I got this for 99 cents. I should have bought like 30 of them. Jesus Christ. Um, I got Alfred Payton, who's uh, obviously Nick's point guard this year. Uh, Josh Jackson's for 99 cents. You can just kind of see some of the stuff that I've been buying all the way over here till it gets to the newer stuff where, um, you know, I am super low, st low end stuff on everything here. Uh, and this is the kind of stuff I'm sending over. <laughs> Darius Garland's that I bought a while back there in the shipment for there. Um, but yeah, I kind of wanted to share this with you a little bit different than just show you what all I've sent them so far. So like you can send directly from COMC. I've sent them stuff directly from eBay. Um, and yeah, you can see here Markel Fultz, uh, number to 99, 699. Uh, I'm sending them a bunch of crap here. DJ Wilson. Lime green for 85 cents. I mean, like, you know, he he's gonna have a decent game this year. Uh, I got Max Struss for 825. I think I might have overpaid for that. But there's dude, this is the thing I'm focusing on are guys that don't have Ermy cards because I got in on Christian Wood um, on several for a dollar and sold them for like 25 and 35 and 39 and 33. I had like four or five of them and. Uh, of his Donruss, the rookies, and uh, Raider rookies. This is the only rookie card. And so these guys that either don't have a lot on Star Stock or they don't have much on, uh, you know, they're, I mean, like, look, there's only 13 card types of his. And one of them is Joseph Randall. And the rest of them here, you can see, th there's only one card. Like, there's only one card of them uh, that's for sale. There's not even cards for sale for most of them. Um, and probably a lot of them is Joseph Randall's. Who knows? Um, but like, this is another guy that I'm looking at right now. And I've actually owned some of these Bojans, but you see here, um, like I think I got this card right here. Uh, I think it's my card for sale for 12 bucks. Um, and I paid 450 for it, but um, Bogdan Bogdanovich. So he doesn't have a Prism rookie card. If you didn't know that, now you know. Um, he's gonna have 25, 30 point games on the regular. He had like 22 tonight, I think. Um, but yeah, he's uh, gonna, yeah, he's gonna be amazing. And so I saw this auto. There's a Starstock B Contenders Hollow. I don't know. Contenders is not optic, right? So it's sold for 45, 40 bucks in a B. It's listed for 120. So I'm over here on COMC and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna search up Bogdan Bogdanovich and go in here and I see this and I was gonna buy I was gonna do some star stock shopping uh, on this video and I still will do a little bit but uh, I see Bogdan here whoops where to go and I get this car for 13 bucks and I'm like I have to buy that right I have to buy this car and so I want to look on here with you guys now that we got it here and just look at optic fast break um, optic Fast break. Oh shit! Cause you can look these up by like brand. So I just want to see what if anything else, anybody else is. Jesus Christ! Freaking mouse is going over my keyboard here. Optic fast break signature and uh, Darius Baisley. Yeah, yeah, he's he's 135. Uh, I mean, Bogdan Bogdanovich is on that dude's level. I mean, shit, if I paid 13 bucks for it, um, I ought to be able to get something similar to that. You got Bruno Fernando, Matisse the Buell. I don't even see any like that one that I have. Like, there's not even any on this damn website. So, uh, I think that was a good buy, right? I think it was a really good buy, and I'm excited about it. You can see here, um, I think I had like $34. I got Josh Jackson, number to 299, Panini status red. Uh, Jalen McDaniels for $2. Kevin Hirker, black box for out of $249 for $1.55. And I'd bought this before. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go and see um, if there's anybody else that we need to be buying. So yeah, look at Julius Randle's stats, bro. Eat them up. Who, who else could we buy right now that's, um, you know, under the radar, maybe a little bit? And uh, let's go to games. Yeah, we need it. We need the 29th. There we go. No, we need the 30th. We need Wednesday the 30th. Okay. 
Are these the games? All right, here we go. So Jalen Brown, dude, there's there's not a single Jalen Brown on any website that's cheap right now. I got a Crusade Silver, but you can't send that to this place because even though it's a Silver Prism, uh, they don't allow um, Silver Prisms from non-optic select unless it's numbered, and it's not. Like, there's they're not numbered. So I'm looking over here at Jalen Brown. Like, is there a single Jalen Brown that I can send these dudes and, and sell them because Jalen Brown is like, he dropped 42 points. Hello, he's, I mean, he, dude, he, he's the shit, man. He's, him and Tatum are, they're, dude, they've played more, they've played more playoff games, like, combined, than Jordan and Pippen did together in their first three years together. Go add that shit up. Like, holy shit. Like, this is a dynasty in the making here, these Celtics are, and like, people who are down on Tatum after the other night, I heard people talking about how they were down on Tatum. Bro, he is injured. Like, he, I didn't think he was going to play tonight. He's injured right now. Tatum is injured. Jalen Brown is fixing to explode, man. Explode. And, like, this is a good card right here that I would get and get graded. But we're not trying to get stuff graded right now. We're trying to buy stuff. And uh, you're trying to buy stuff and get it, like, on Star Stock because... Dude, it will sell for a bucket, bro. But finding something that, you know, we can buy, and that's auction, so we can't get that. Like, finding something that is even numbered for this dude under, I mean, there's nothing. Like, this, what in the world? Panini Immaculate, 1489? Dude, this is like some Star Stock C bullshit written all over it right here. It's a big ass jersey card. Oh. Do I even have enough to cover that? Oh my god, I'm six cents short. What in the freaking crap. Okay, let's <laughs> but yeah, you get the point. Like I gotta add six cents, but we're not doing that for that card. Because that's just not this is the card I bought tonight for like eleven bucks on eBay. Uh, and and dude, Jalen Brown, 2016 is the worst year. Dude, go go look at Jalen Brown. Go look at Jamal Murray. Go look at Demonte Sabonis. They're dude. They were already all high in price, and now they're even more high because like you just can't do it. This right here. Holy shit! I may have to add some money to that. Holy shit! Like that too. Because look at this over here. Let's go get. Let's go look at some Jalen. Jalen Brown. And dude, like, none of these dudes are going to have many cards on here. Look, 14 card types, bro. You go type in, like, freaking Tyler Hero, and it's going to be like 90. Um, he's got his optic base, which goes for 70 bucks. There's only two offers. There's only four for sale. PSA 10, there's a dollar offer. Star Stock A, 10 offers at 100. So I'm at 60 bucks here for this one's latest sale 55. I mean, dude, just didn't have very many cards. Like, this one's on here. There's one. It's just not it. Um, $31 for a National Treasures combo player signature booklet. You can't, can, can you even see this damn thing? You can't even see the damn card. You can't even see the back of it. It's a Star Stock A, too. Who is the other player? world should I, should I buy this somebody got it for 39 bucks <laughs> shit when did they buy it December 24th they bought this shit for 39 dollars oh my god let's go look this up and this could be the end of the video like we don't have to buy out all those cards but uh, damn Imagine, bro. I had that much in my account, too. I'd still do. All right, so 2016. Oh, shit, what is going on here? What are we doing? 17 National Treasures Jalen Brown Combo Signatures.
All right, let's see what this is all about. Here we got. a booklet where the booklet's at um you got number eight jalen brown let's look it up real quick here number eight jalen brown number eight jalen brown yeah just yeah i'm almost done with the other side uh colossal logo man number eight nope why is there not a number eight Where the hell is number eight at? Materials. There's the autograph. Kobe's number eight. Gang gear. Gang, dual jersey set. The fuck, man? Where is this card at? I, I don't really know what it is, but like, I mean, obviously if it's a National Treasures auto and it's a combo jersey auto and not like with some other player on it, um, then I'm interested. There's dual jersey, uh, triple jersey autographs, not it. Hometown heroes, not it either. International. Dude, how many freaking different autograph sets are there? Jesus Christ. Materials treasure set checklist. Man, like, dude, this is like trasher than hell, man. Give me a finals nameplate. Give me a great set signatures. Penmanship autographs. Are and no wonder you can't pull anything good out of these packs. They're so expensive, too. Um, retro materials. Rookie materials. Um, Brandon Ingram's number eight in that set. Brandon Ingram. Uh, Brandon Ingram. Rookie logo man set. Nope. Treasured tags. Nope. Treasured tags autograph. Nope. Treasured threads. Nope. Treasured Hall of Famers. Treasured tremendous treasures uh printing plates where the fuck is this thing at man like how in the hell oh it's collegiate it's collegiate it's collegiate okay you don't want that shit we don't want that shit no we're gonna pass hard on that one, boss. Oh yeah, so there's not really anything you can buy for Jalen Brown that's in there, which is, it's, it's kind of sucks, kind of sucks. But there, there might be somebody else that, that you know we are missing on. But like, I, I really don't know who it could be, honestly. Um, this is something that you can all think about: is that they accept Duncan Robinson, and he really he doesn't have any like base cards until mosaic and so they're accepting the mosaic uh, there's a lot there's quite a few of them on there and they, they sell for quite a bit but um if you look here um yeah, he put like shit tonight um I'm gonna go over here and yeah, let's just type in duncan robinson and this is the end of the video obviously we're not making any other selections here so duncan robinson and if you haven't seen the base cover, this is 799. This was 724. That's actually a pretty good deal, but they won't take this card. Which sucks. Um, you got the pink for 1263. Uh, trophy collection. I don't know what those are. I would say those are probably not good anyway. Uh, fast breaks 50 bucks. Like, dude, he just doesn't have. He didn't have a card. He doesn't have a card, and so everything is outrageous for him. There's a sapphire there's nothing cheaper i guess there's this one but yeah but yeah nobody wants those cards dude nobody wants that card um and then you go over here to star stock and you can obviously see uh, what he's going for and see if it's even worth it but like another guy that's um you know under the radar you got to find these guys um before everybody else does and then once everybody else does you sell them for a ton but look star stock a's latest sale $49. My God. And, and maybe they're not taking these anymore. And I'm about to find out because I, I've, I've sent them like three. So if, if they don't take these, then we're going to find out very soon. Um, but obviously, a quick hit right there on this. This is Star Stock B, even get you breaking even. But yeah. Anyway, that's kind of the video. I don't know. Um, we got the Bogdan. 
We got some Julius Randles I showed you. And I feel pretty good about um, my direction here on Starstock. Um, you know, obviously, dude, if you can find some Gorn Drogic rookies, um, that might actually be... Uh, that might be. And we're going to start doing videos where I just buy, like, certain players, too. Like, that's going to be in the, coming in the near future. But look at this. Rookie year. He has eight cards, Gorn Drogic does. And 2009-2010 tops base is ten dollars and that is in good shape let me make sure here oh that is beautiful is this one more beautiful though for 12.50 it might be worth it if it is i think it's a little more off less off centered uh, i don't know if either one of them are star stuck ace but let's go over here there's not going to be a single card surely more androgic not one well, boys, so, yeah, that's off-centered, man. I don't think I can buy it. I don't think I can buy either one of these. But go find yourself a 2009-2010 Topps Gorn Drogic Rookie Card. And uh, go find yourself some uh, uh, a nice profit there because, uh, obviously, ain't nobody got none of those. Gorn Drachik, or we're looking right now. Rookie card. Let's go. Let's see what Jorn Jorn Drogic. Gorn Drogic rookie card. Dude, there's like you're gonna have to scroll. Through. There's just not gonna be very many of these. And that would be 2009-2010. Looky there. Ten bucks. But this one, that one looks pretty solid right there. That one looks better than the ones on COMC. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens there. Big boy, red hot. I just got a counter offer. What? No. Oh, y'all want to see my um? Y'all want to see my solds? Look at this selling. I started this account like two weeks ago, bro. A little over two weeks ago. Nineteen days ago, actually. I think two twelve was my first one. And uh, yeah, ninety two sold, man. This is like. Wow, you can see here, we'll just scroll through. I'm not making a lot on each one of these, but look at this. I mean, boom, $5, 16 to 25 I mean, like, dude, these cards didn't have anything into them. Bought them back in September, October, a um, long time ago. And, uh, you can see a few, few sales in here. Look, you get $9.99 each for those. Uh, $25 for my eight and a half, Paul George. Yeah, $35 for Jason Tatum Green Mosaic. That's nice. Got $40 for that. Dude, that was in that lot that I paid $20 bucks for. Like, I mean, I made like $600 off that lot because I sold the, um, let me see it here in a minute. I sold DeAndre Hunter uh, Courtside. You see, I sold my Tatum that I bought for $80 for $125. It's good. I marked everything down for Christmas basically, but yeah, $29 for that. $40 for my. GMA 7 Kevin Durant Fleur Glossy. Um, dude, yeah, that was that was huge. <laughs> $13 for my nine cat. He doesn't sell for much. $125 for this one that was in that lot. Like, dude, that lot was killer. Eight bucks, ten bucks on those. Dude, I've been hitting on these hard, man. I, I sold my freaking I got scared to grade my Donovan Mitchell and sold it for a hundred bucks for my Court Kings level three. I think I paid $35 for that, so it's a freaking W. $19. So I bought this one for $1.99 on bid. $19, bucks, dude. Like, I'm doing pretty good with these GMAs, but I, I mean, I think, like, you know, getting two or three dollar cards, put six dollars in it, sell it for, uh, you know, 18 to 25 bucks. Uh, that's a that's like a quick route to go. Look, I fucked up on this one. <laughs> I did not know his prices were that high. Jesus Christ, I screwed that up bad. 
Yeah, you got a good deal. <laughs> Congrats to that guy. You got a good deal. It sold right away, right when I put it up. Like, oh my gosh. Yeah, so, uh, looking good, looking good, looking good. I mean, I, yeah, I'm excited. Doing some good things over here. So anyway, that's the video for today. Like, comment, subscribe. This is Carson Cruz.